I mean, I guess you could say I'm thankful for something. What's going on, guys? Boy Chris Sixty, and we are back. And uh, I haven't done a story time in a minute, so let's just jump right into this. Um, but real quick, I guess, happy Thanksgiving to all of you out there, and uh, hope you all thankful what you got, family, food, all that. And uh, yeah, okay, now that's enough, that's enough. That's enough. I'm gonna just get into it. So I'm doing this video now because this is actually the time where this all started and basically uh, two years passed, two, three years passed, uh, me and a friend, we'll call him Juan, we went down to my my neighborhood friendly Walmart, like the big ass one with like the electronics department, the toys department, basically one of those big ass ones, right? And we went down there, it was Black Friday, it, so basically today, two, three years ago, and we were walking around, it was the year that Black Ops 3 came out because that that's what I saw. So obviously, like basically, most of the games are gone. Ace, everyone's kind of gone and everything like that. So everyone's just kind of chilling, and then we're walking at the games, looking at what's like there. This the usual stuff like Left 4 Dead 2, Left 4 Dead 1, Skate 3, uh, stuff like that. You know, uh, Call of Duty Ghost, I think it was that time. Uh, we're just looking around, we're finding them, and I see a copy of Black Ops 3, right? But this Black Ops 3 has no Saran wrap on it, has no nothing on it. It's just like the case straight up. And I'm looking around, I'm like, I'm like nudging my friend. I was like, dude, look at this, look at this, look at this. And, I was, and he was all like, oh, yo, that's cool. I don't know what the difference was, because even if they did have Saran wrap, like, what does that matter? You know, that, that still has to swoop the game for it to matter. And I was like, ayo, should I swoop this, should I swoop this? And he was all like, you won't, you won't no balls. And then I'm like, I'm like, hold on, hold on, give me a second, give me a second. So I go to like the camping stuff all uh, on the other side of the store. I go there and just shimmy it down, put it put it between my shirt and all that. And then I'm like, all right, man, let's go. But like we get to McDonald's first, and then we and then we leave the store because there was like McDonald's built inside. And we leave, and then I think we're about a block or two away, and I pull it out. I'm like, yo, look at this, look at this, look at this. He was like, yo, you actually got that? And I was like, yeah, yeah, what's up, what's up? And he was all like, you should have told me, bro. I would have got something too. And I was like, yo, if you're down, we can go back. Let me just go drop this off. Because I only live, like, uh, I don't say a 10-minute walk away from the from the place. So we, we, we rushed back to my house. We dropped it off. And then we went back. And then, you know, there's still all this, like, stuff going on. And then, like, we had changed clothes, though, because we were trying to not to get noticed. Because we, we were being smart about it, you know? And, like, we're there. I think I, I took, like, Skate 3 and, like, Left 4 Dead 2. And he took, like some other stuff like Dante's Inferno or like a Batman I can't remember exactly what what the games were and he took that and then we come back home we're like yo we got these games now Black Friday let's go like surprisingly I mean there, there was a decent amount of security in the sense of like there was a lot of employees around but like there wasn't a lot of security in the sense that we weren't really being checked you know what I mean because we were just two kids obviously I was a lot younger and all that we were both a lot younger so I guess we didn't really look the part as criminals <laughs> or thieves um, but anyways, we go about doing that, right? And then, as, as the time goes by, we keep thinking, like, <laughs> I, I had previously stolen from that store before. It was never, like, I guess, big like this, though. Like, uh, because from a very early age, I was instilled with the idea, not, not from my parents, right? This is from the wrong people, I guess you could say. I had the idea instilled into me that stealing was never really that bad it was more like stealing from other people because i had that idea of it's a big ass company it doesn't affect the employees which to my knowledge it really doesn't at all because it's like it's like your your job is to manage the store do this and do that not to make sure people aren't stealing and i'm pretty sure walmart along with a lot of other places actually knows for a fact have policies where it's like you can tell somebody to stop or whatever, but you're not supposed to actually do anything after that. You know what I mean? But, you know, it, it is what it is. But, anyways, I had stolen, like, little things. You remember, like, you guys remember hex bugs? Hex bugs, like, those little, they came, they came in, like, little tubes. There's, like, ants and there's spiders. And I, I took those every now and then. That was, like, years before that, though. And then, uh, back when it used to be with Mega Bloks and Lego, uh, there was these little packets. It was, like, a dollar, dollar, two for each one. And you'd, um... It was like a random figurine from the Halo series. I ended up collecting all of them by snapping each one of them. I always feel the bag though, because like you could feel if it was like a grunt or if it was like a Spartan or whatever. But <laughs> that, 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 that doesn't really matter. 
Anyways, so that's kind of how I started stealing stuff, I guess you could say. But this is where I kind of really got started, like, continuously doing it, I guess. Because it was never one of those things where it was like, hey, I did this, nah, but I might as well just do that, right? But anyways, so that happened. And then I think about a week later, uh, he suggested, hey, let's do it again. Because something I never really paid attention to, I, it's not a thing anymore now, partially because of us, I'm pretty sure, um, is that... There was always sto uh, games on display that weren't like behind like the glass cases with like the consoles and the, all the brand new games. There was always games out there on, on their own. You know what I mean? Like there was just like they were just in the saran wrap like on these like you know plastic shelves along with like maybe a controller, or a really cheap headphones, stuff like that, right? So the idea came to him and he was like, "Yo, we should start nabbing these." You know what I'm saying? And I'll and. Again, I was never, like, super big on this type of stuff. And, like, to a certain extent, I was always scared of getting caught. Though I continuously did it from, like, time to time. But it was, like, different places, different locations. And I was pretty um, good at keeping my hands... Uh, pretty good at keeping my hands away from being dirty. So, basically, what we ended up start doing is that... Um, once a week, if not more, we'd start going there. And we'd sweep different games. Me, personally, I was doing it, once we started doing it, I was starting to do it because I would take the most expensive, like, not, not necessarily the most expensive, but the ones with the most trade value, because this is back when I used to really go to games that, like, all the time. So, I was, like, having, like, Lego Batman 3, Terraria, stuff like that, right? Like, the things that had the highest of value, and then I go there, I, I go to, to, like, different ones, because, like, there's, like, three different around me. Um... And I'd go there and I sell them off and then obviously I get like games I actually wanted with them, right? But he on the other hand, he was taking the games because he actually wanted to play them and then every now and then one or two for like uh, I'm gonna sell it, right? But we we were being smart about this, right? Because like I said, the first time we went I went into the camping area, uh, where the stuff is, because there was to my knowledge there's no cameras or anything there on there, right? And there'd always be like a lookout. But like so let's say I was down in the actual aisle, then my friend would be behind uh, in the front of the aisle and he basically looking at whatever the hell's in the front over there looking around obviously i mean if anyone really bothered to pay attention it would be pretty obvious that we were like doing that but uh <laughs> it wasn't about until like i want to say a month later that uh we were doing it again and when we went, we went to the same aisle went to the same place as always and I noticed there was like a little blue sign hanging off the side of like one of the uh, shelves. And it said, uh, I can't remember what the exact wording were, but basically it just said, uh, take notice that there are cameras all over this place, cameras specifically in this aisle or whatever. We will see that you're stealing it, right? And that's kind of when I knew they had like, um, a, uh, they kind of got like a hold of what we were doing, I guess. I mean, we did come in pretty often. We only got like McDonald's or whatever. And that wasn't even every time because we didn't even really feel like doing it every time. And then, you know, and then if we did not do that, we were like walking to the store for like 10 minutes and then we walk out empty handed. I'm, I'm pretty sure that caught the eye of some people or managers or whatever, you know. But it is what it is. We did that and we were like, screw it. We don't even really care. And then, because honestly, when I look something like that, I think it's kind of a bluff, you know. Or like when there's like the, the, the black like cameras on the ceiling, right? Because I don't know if you guys seen those pictures or on Twitter or whatever, where it's like people like hop up there and then they take a picture and there's like literally nothing. It's just like a black, it's just like a black like hollow case or whatever that's supposed to uh, mimic what a camera would be. And so it's not even real cameras, right? They're just like there for like for show. But anyways, so after that we had stopped and then uh, one of my friend uh, Juan's friend who had worked there, right? He he came up to us one day. Uh, well, we were all hanging out. He was like, hey, yo, y'all need to stop. And then we were all like, what are we talking about? And he, and him being our friend, he was being, I guess, friendly about it. And he was like, y'all got to stop what you're doing. And then we were still playing down. And he finally came out with it. And he was like, uh, he was like, the store's going to crack onto you. And the next time you pull up, you might not pull it back out. And he, he basically explained to us how uh, they noticed that games were going missing and all that. And that they started checking the cameras. And that obviously that like they saw us that we would like drop them off or like we would like go and we take them to a certain area and then they would never find them in that band, right? But because these are just in saran wrap, there's no special thing on them. They couldn't, they, it wouldn't be detected by any metal detector or any detector at all when leaving the store, right? But obviously they kind of got the, 
the hint that it was us. So they put the little sign there with that sign. He did admit that it was just like a, a goof. It wasn't actually meant to do anything. There wasn't actually any cameras. It was mostly just to scare us. And then he said that the next time uh, that we came in that we supposedly would be followed or whatever. Or someone would be keeping an eye on us, cameras, whatever. And uh, um, it was more likely than not that we'd be checked out. Right? So we, we both got kind of spooked because we were like, yo, this store actually like, you know, tell it cracking down on us, right? So we stopped, uh, I, he stopped for about a month. I just kind of stopped completely due to the fact that, you know, as our friend, as an employee there, he dead ass came up to us and he was like, knock it off, basically, right? And, um, well, we did stop. We did. For a month and then he started again, right? Um, but this, nothing ever happened because... I, although I stopped going with him, he started going with other people, as to my knowledge, and I think it was about three, maybe five months after that whole conversation had gone down, uh, I, because he was like, he, he was like a block away from me, um, I was gonna ride from his mother one day to my job, and then she starts commenting on how that, what happened to him. She was like, oh, yo, did you hear about what happened to, to Juan, blah, blah, blah. I was like, what's good? And you know what happened? And she's all like, oh, he got he um, he um got cuffed because he got caught stealing at, at the Walmart, dude. And I was like, yo, what? Apparently, it wasn't a game this time. Apparently, it was something else. But there was, like, a chip thingy on the inside of whatever the hell it was. Because you know, you know how, like, it's not like those big, like, like sticker things that hang on to pants or whatever. It's like those little like barcodes that like, like little it's like little black bars that hang on the inside that like, the, when you're at the register they just like scan with something and like it like deactivates it or whatever so it doesn't go off. That's basically what he got caught with because I guess they started putting stuff into there to prevent that. Um, and uh, what ba basically what ended up happening is that he was on Charlie the store blah, blah blah and then they're like you gotta stop blah blah we gotta check you and then they took they. He, it wasn't just like one thing it was like a few other stuff like it was like mediocre stuff like pencils or whatever I, I can't remember exactly what it was and then the cops came and they were like yo we know you've been doing this blah 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 and he was like what's the proof at and uh he apparently they didn't really have any proof basically but like it was kind of the writing on the wall of like uh we saw you on the aisles you weren't coming back out with whatever you left with and here we are now we just caught you red-handed so we're gonna assume and he ended up getting banned for a year honestly i feel like it should have been more like no offense to him but like i'm just surprised they were just so lenient about it i guess i kind of just expected more out of them but anyways uh we did that and then that was the whole thing i think it was i can't remember it was in that month span where i stopped going because i never even really went there in the first place it was either during that time where I stopped going or it was a little bit after I left or stopped doing it that they started putting like the big ass like uh, plastic cases on them where like you had to like basically rip it open to get the game actually out or like I don't know I actually never tried it because I actually never bought a game from there. I don't know if you actually get to have to rip it open or if like the cashier like does something special but these are like big ass chunky case like this you cannot swoop this for the life of you though honestly if like you put it like in a backpack or something like that 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 would be like cutting you up and all that if you like really try to sneak that out but anyways guys that was my story i didn't personally get banned i didn't say that in the title <laughs> but that's the story of getting banned from walmart uh he's fine now he goes there whenever he really wants to we both kind of left that behind us i guess you could say although from time to time i might snoop this or that but it is what it is. Uh, if you like the story, like, comment, subscribe. I have, I'm going to try to stick going back to more story times. Because now I'm kind of done with the reviews and all that. Um, but that being said, like I said, uh, a happy Thanksgiving, I guess, if you celebrate that. Or holidays, whatever it is. And uh, hope the food is good. And uh, I'll see you all next time.